Hey everyone, this is John DeSmith. What I'm going to do is make a quick video on how to do some simple commands to help boost your performance in a NAS32 um, flight board using Boris B or Clean Flight. Um, I'm going to be using some CLI commands to improve the performance and basically what I'm going to do is connect my NAS board to it and go into CLS. Now, the first commands that I like to do is set my dead bands. Dead bands equals six. I like to do a set dead band equals six and a set yaw dead band equals six. Okay, what this is going to do actually, this is going to help get away all the jittery movement when whenever you're not pressing the sticks. Uh, but then a lot of quads I see jitter a lot when you're not pressing six, and that's because your your transmitter is sending little signals to your receiver that's sending it to flight control. So what I like to do is set my dead bands to six for the regular dead band and the yard dead band, and this will stop a lot of jittery and make it smoother. The second thing I like to do is do a set acc underscore hardware equals one. Okay, what this does, it actually disables your ACC. Your ACC is your Celeronomer sensor. So therefore, if you use the angle mode or the horizon mode, you will not be able to use them anymore after doing this because this will actually disable that. But by disabling that, we're gonna free up a lot more power for the processor and free up a lot more processing power. So that's why I like to use this command. But but if you rely on self-level modes like the angle or the horizon, you cannot do this. So after you do these commands, I like to hit save and then it will do a reboot. I would like for everyone to try setting these commands. Let me know how you think, how it improved your performance of your NAS32. I'm telling you, these simple commands will boost your performance and you'll see a difference. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm Jonathan Smith. Thank you.